I never saw anything like this before. Beautiful craftsmanship. I think even the best jewelers in Florence would have a hard time making something of this quality. Except this is no simple jewelry. And it is obvious that Borgia doesn't want it just because it would look good on his neck. Yes, our dear Duke. It is clear he'll try and get his hands on the amulet no matter what. We can't forget about the terrible situation he's in and the resolve with which he wants to solve it. And that is one of the reasons why he can never get the amulet. It is the key opening the gate of the Temple of Wisdom, the original time machine, which was once raised in Castle Del Monte by Frederick II. The gate might have been destroyed during the Pope's army attack. Time travel might just be able to get us to the past, before that happened. We will use your time machine to take us to a point before the gate's destruction. Exactly. Very well. And do we have any idea where the Order took the time machine? Everything points to the fact that after they took it from Badia Fiorentina, it was moved to their residence in Castle del Monte. And since from the Vatican we know about a secret passage which could take us inside without notice, I think we should make our way there. Even though we don't have the second glove? Didn't you say we needed all three ampules with the liquid from your inventions to get into the time when the gate was still standing? Maybe we could make a deal with the Duke after all. Make a deal with Borgia? What are you thinking, friend? I know him for quite a while. But if you don't believe me, try reading what Machiavelli wrote about him. There can be no fair deal with the Duke. And our last attempt to outsmart him almost ended with Giacomo's death. No, as I said, we will set out for Castle Del Monte. I think there is quite a big chance that at the time the Order did not give me all the ampules with mysterious liquid. Where else would they keep it if not at their residence? Sure, it's a risk, but odds are still better than negotiations with Borgia. Don't be angry, Leonardo. As a servant of God, it is my duty to look for the better in people and doing my best to find a peaceful solution. But the decision how to do this is, of course, yours. It's fine, Luca, I understand. But please, trust me in this. We should not linger. We need to prepare for the journey so we can... Guess they're tonight. still here. Let's have a peek. I saw a light in the windows. I'll have a look from the bridge. You search the courtyard. They have nowhere to run. Borgia is here. The door, quickly. <sighs> Uh, I think I found him, my lord. Well, this is a pickle. Was it just my imagination? Or the one with Borgia was the good friend of yours from the bald lady? Yes, Marco. That cur! May the Lord forgive me. Is this how you welcome weary travelers? That's not very Christian of you. I thought one of you was a monk. I think it is prudent to stay behind a locked door when an armed traveler tries to break in. I came for the amulet. It is definitely not in your interest to make me wait. Give it to me now. Oh, don't be afraid. I remember our deal. I have the glove. You can keep it for a while, just until you make the modifications needed so it takes me to the gate to the Temple of Wisdom. After that, I'll take it back if you don't mind. That doesn't sound as our deal at all. You're acting like a common brigand, Duke. You want me to act like a brigand? I can do that. Open these doors or I'll break them down. This is your last chance. Well, that was about a peaceful solution. Luca, any other ideas? I might have. It's not looking good for us, but we have two advantages over those rogues. First, there is another exit which they don't know about yet. And second, 
Giacomo has the miraculous device Leonardo made. And the Duke cannot defend against something he has no clue about. You are right, Luca. I almost forgot about Oculus Perpetua. Use it, Giacomo. If you flank them, you will surely find a way to take them out of commission. Maybe you could use the cart by the well in the garden. And if they're trying to break the door, they must be standing right in the middle of the tracks. <clears throat> you had your chance, but you squandered it. Do not expect me to find any mercy for you after this. Find something to use as a battering ram and take care of this door. If you're quick, I might be generous. That was a terrible hit, but both of them will recover in time. They just lost consciousness. And the glove survived without major damage as well. <laughs> Which means we can focus on what's really important when we get to Castel del Monte. Great. I will return to the workshop and make the preparations. You and Giacomo move those to somewhere warm. When they come to, we will be long gone.